Hey there, it's Gabriel here, SEO manager at Hike SEO. And in this video, we'll be talking about how to get a competitive advantage in your SEO so you can start climbing rankings and getting more organic traffic. So let's dive in. So what you learn in this video is what competitive research is all about, um, why it's important for you and your SEO, and you'll learn about the five-step process for doing competition research properly and effectively. So let's dive in. So what is competitor research? Great question. It's basically the process of analyzing and evaluating search engine optimization strategies, tactics, and performance of your competitors to improve your own website's search engine vis visibility, rankings, and organic traffic. So what we'll, be, what we'll be doing is looking at your competitors in the search engine rankings, and determining where do you stand in terms of difficulty in terms of the market? Where do you stand in terms of how you can get higher rankings within the competition landscape? And that's what it's all about. It's looking at where you are right now and getting absolute clarity where you are so that you know where you can go to and how much effort and resources it will take to get you there. So why is competition research important? I hinted on a few things, but we'll go through the main points. So first thing is to identify the strengths and the weaknesses of your competitors. So this enables you to take advantage of these opportunities that you discover and avoid their mistakes. So if you see any competitors that aren't doing SEO that well, or do they're doing it really well, but they're missing certain things, you can take advantage of those gaps of those opportunities so that you can climb higher in the search engine rankings for certain keywords. Um, it all allows you to double down on aspects that will strengthen your SEO. So there's certain areas where your competition might not be taking advantage of that you can go in and start strengthening your position in the search engine results. Um, next is discovering high performing keywords and topics. So you want to understand you want to uncover keywords and topics that are driving traffic for your competitors. And that way, you can see what keywords to go after as well and to see how much effort and resources it will take to actually overcome those high rankings and get above your competitors ideally. And you will also create content around uh, relevant, relevant topics and keywords for higher rankings and more traffic. So you'll discover what type of content your competitors have created, what, what type they haven't created, and that will give you a really clear view as to what content you can start creating to gain that advantage. Next is benchmarking your performance. So this will allow you to identify areas where you are falling behind or leading in the competition. And again, this gives you a landscape, a crystal clear picture of where you are and where you need to go. It helps you to prioritize your efforts, allocate resources effectively and set realistic goals for your improvement overall. Next is uncover content gaps and opportunities. So this is where you would fill the gaps that you discover. So gaps are uh, areas where topics haven't been yet, um, content hasn't been created around these topics on your competitor sites. And once you discover these gaps, then you can create and fill these gaps with high quality and relevant content that can improve your website's search engine rankings. So again, it's coming up with a clear picture so you can see these gaps where these topics in the industry ha haven't necessarily been covered, but then you can cover them and gain that advantage with additional rankings, additional keywords that you show up for. So you can build pages that are even better than your competitors. So even though your competitors might have these pages talking about these different topics, you can build pages that are even better and that your competitors, your audiences across your industry will rather come to you for that advice, for that information, rather than your competitors. Uh, adapting to industry trends and changes. This is the big one because it allows you to adapt to your SEO strategy, which is always changing, always adapting to remain competitive. Because if you just have a SEO strategy and you stick with that always and forever, SEO changes quite a lot. 
the landscape changes, your competitors change. You always need to be one or two steps ahead and always up uh, to, to the latest trends um, updated and informed. So then you can make those changes and start getting ahead. Um, you can maintain or improve your search engine rankings. Again, this is really important because you don't want to fall behind. You don't want to let your SEO lapse and then your competitors start getting higher rankings or more traffic because you haven't been up to date. You haven't looked at your rankings lately. And then you can also see in real time how competitors are evolving and use those insights to pivot your SEO strategy on the fly and be really agile in that approach because the more agile you can be, the faster you can pivot and the faster the changes you can make to overcome your competition because sometimes your competitors aren't as agile. They're larger companies. There's more uh, bureaucracy to go through and the changes take a lot longer. So you might have that advantage if you can just make changes a lot quicker. Improve your link building strategy. So by analyzing your competitor's backlink profile, this reveals high quality and relevant websites to target for your link building efforts. So it's almost like having an x-ray on all of your competitors and seeing what backlinks, what um, websites that are linking to them, and then reaching out to those websites and having similar same uh, links back to yours to strengthen your authority, which will thereby help increase your search engine rankings and overall organic traffic. So this allows you to build a stronger backlink profile for higher rankings overall. And again, higher rankings can lead to higher organic traffic. And that's what we ultimately want with search engine optimization. All right, so let's dive into the five step process of competitor research. So the first step is to identify your SEO competitors. You want to know the landscape and who you're actually up against because before you do this, you have no idea who you're really up against other than maybe knowledge of your industry and who's, and who's who. But in terms of the search engine competitors, you need to do some research to figure out who's actually competing and for which keywords they're competing for. So you want to determine who your direct and indirect competitors are based on keywords that are relevant to your industry and business. For example, the, the services you offer, the products you offer, the topics that, you, that you're an expert in that you want to talk about. All of these things can reveal direct and indirect competitors. So direct competitors are ones that are in your industry and they're competing for the same or similar products and services. Uh, that you're talking about or are experts in the exact same or similar things that you are. The indirect competitors are those businesses or those websites that are in an entirely different industry, but they have blog articles or pages that are talking about the same topics or similar topics that are in your industry. So that's the difference. Both are important because both indirect and direct competitors are competing against the same or similar keywords. So they are, in fact, your search engine competitors. So the next is to note them down in a spreadsheet, in your document, whatever is convenient for you. And then you'll review those in the following steps. So step two is to analyze your competitors on page SEO. So on page SEO has everything to do with the structure of the site, with the content, with the technical side of how your website is put together. So everything on the actual website that you look at. And what you want to do here is go through each of those competitors. And depending on how much time you have available, you might want to go really high level, just look at a few items or aspects, or go really comprehensive and really deep if you have a lot more time to invest. So ideally, you look at your each of those competitors' websites, the pages that they have. So you might want to go to their sitemap or the sitemap index file, look at how many posts they have in their blog, look at how many pages they have, look at the content types and the topics that they're talking about, what keywords are they using, um, the meta tags that they use, like what, what do they use in their titles, their meta descriptions, their header tags like the H1s, 
H2s, anything that structures the content on a page, look at how the content is structured and how easy it is to read, how many images on average there are on those pages. Look at how they link to uh, internal pages on their own site or link out to other pages and many other on-page SEO factors. You can definitely review that when you watch the on-site SEO video that we've created. So there's more information about that there. So review all those websites bit by bit, step by step, make notes. And then look at closely, as you go through, make sure you look at closely how they organize and structure their content. Are they organized by categories? What categories are those? What subcategories are those? How is their menu organized? And overall, how easy is it to use and how engaging is their site to use? All of these things are very important when you go to evaluate your competitors because that will feed into your strategy and how you build out your content and your SEO. Step three is to analyze your competitors off-page SEO. So again, I have a separate video on off-page SEO. You can watch that. But off-page SEO in a nutshell is basically everything to do with SEO outside of the actual site. So anything um, backlinks, which are links from other people's websites linking to that competitor, um, or social media platforms, or, or forums, or anything like that, where people are talking about the site outside the site, that's off-site uh, or off-page SEO, same thing. So you want to assess your competitor's backlink profiles and social media presence. And backlink profile is basically shows you how many backlinks that competitor has and from which websites and how their authority is in terms of uh, their domain authority and credibility. And also look at the social media presence. Which platforms are they on? What sort of following do they have on those? And what type of content do they share and how regularly do they share it? All of these will give you hints as to what you can do on your business, on your brand, on your website. So you want to look specifically from an SEO point of view at the number of backlinks that they have and the overall domain authority. So this is a score from either 0 to 10 in hike or generally speaking 0 to 100 um, on other platforms. And this score basically tells you from 0, no authority at all, to, to the highest number, which is maximum authority, where, they, where their domain is. And this score gives you an indication of how difficult it will be to compete against that competitor. So the higher the score, uh, the more difficult it will be. So you can compare your domain authority on your site with that of your competitors and see where you are in terms of, oh wow, my competitors are much higher, so that means I need a lot more authoritative links, a lot more links from quality websites to compete against them, to get higher rankings over them in general. So in Hike, and if you haven't signed up for Hike yet, I highly recommend it, um, hikeseo.co. And in Hike, there's a section where you can look at your competitor's data. For example, in this case, it's searchenginejournal.com. And here you can see the top, how many keywords are in the top three positions in Google, how many are on the page one, page two, and the total number of ranking keywords that they have. And you can actually look at the number of keywords and look at the actual keywords that they're ranking, what page is ranking, the position it's ranking in, and also the difficulty score of how difficult um, it is to rank for that keyword. And that will give you, again, a clue as to Will it be easy for my website to rank for this keyword or not? So it gives you an x-ray vision into your competitor's performance. Another page, another section on Hike is the competitor backlink opportunities. And I highly recommend you look at that because it gives you, again, an x-ray vision into all the backlinks that your competitors have that are pointing to them. And you can go to this page and reach out to these websites to ideally and eventually secure a backlink from those websites. So you start getting and acquiring more and more backlinks from high authority, incredible sites that your, back, that your competitors have, and that will eventually help you to get higher and higher rankings. 
So step four is to identify the content gaps and opportunities. So while you're analyzing your competitor's content and finding the topics, the keywords, or the content formats that they use, uh, you can see what your website uh, or your blog or your entire page structure is lacking or how it's organized. And this will allow you then to get crystal clear as to what you need to do. So obviously the areas that you're lacking, you need to start creating more content around those topics. Or maybe your structure on your website isn't that organized. So you might want to start organizing it into categories and into a hierarchy with level two levels deep or even three levels deep if you have that many uh, topics or pages that you want to talk about. And number five is benchmarking and tracking the performance. So you want to set a benchmark and track performance over time to measure progress of your SEO efforts. So this comes down to uh, having key performance indicators. So one of the, the items I mentioned previously is the domain authority. So that gives you a benchmark as to where you are in terms of competitiveness, in terms of authority uh, based on your competitors. And ideally, as you build more and more backlinks, that domain authority score, score will start raising and increasing. And that will help you with your overall rankings. Another KPI is the number of keywords that you're ranking for, let's say in the top 20 or the top 10 positions in Google. And that ideally will be increasing over time as you create more content that's aligned with the keywords that you want. And that can then you can see how you're progressing over time with your SEO efforts um, compared to your competitors. So it's really uh, an important thing to start tracking and benchmarking where you're at, where you want to be, and then tracking it along the way. So you can use different tools, Google Analytics, Google Search Console, Hike SEO. All of these tools will help you to benchmark and track your performance. So again, another one is looking at new users. So how many new users come to your site? Um, and there's many other KPIs, so definitely look at the SEO reporting video that I've created and there's more information on how you can uh, track your cap create your KPIs and track your performance. So in Hike SEO you can look at your traffic stats and these stats are directly imported from Google Search Console and Google Analytics and you can see how many visitors you've had, the engagement rate, the number of clicks, impressions and see trends over time as well. So definitely link up your Google Analytics and Google Search Console to Hike once you have that. Another area is the keyword positions or the keyword tracking in Hike. Again, you can add keywords that you want to track. And then from there, you can see how well it's doing, what the current ranking is uh, the previous day, last week, last month. So you can see trends in your keyword performance. Um, and also look at what pages are doing well on your website. So that's it. Uh, if you have any questions about competitor research, do let me know. And if you haven't yet signed up for Hike, do that right now. It's uh, really great for beginners and small businesses or even agencies who serve small businesses. So sign up now and uh, there's also a 14-day money-back guarantee. If for some reason it doesn't suit your needs, you can do that. But otherwise, I highly recommend it. Uh, it's really easy to use and you can start getting some great SEO results in the next few months as you start uh, putting those actions it recommends into practice and uh, start getting more content out there. So thanks so much and I will see you in the next video. Take care.